Hello everyone, I'm Andrea and I'm the Team 2910 Media Mentor. I also work here at Creo Industrial Arts. Today, the Creo team will be fabricating some of the parts for our MK3 Mini Swerve Bot. Let's go inside and see what's happening. Receive this part from you guys uh -huh. by a DXF simple file, and we have the line art and in in, in uh, the, the software that we use. We use uh, en route right. software to cut all our parts. So what Mike's doing right now, he has the, the raw diagrams that you guys provided us, and we're gonna do some tool pathing, which is uh, sets of G code program to actually uh, go and um, cut the parts. So by doing that, so we're gonna choose the right bit, uh, the right diameter bit, and the right feeds, and the right speeds, uh, depending on how deep you're going with the material, there's certain parameters that we uh, look at. And, and um, the feeds and speeds, depending on what material you, you're gonna be cutting. In this case, we're doing eighth inch aluminum. Um, yes, and some of the holes and the, some of the profiles on the parts are small. So we're gonna find the smallest bit that we can, and the feeds and speeds will be determined by the hardness of the material, and that's aluminum. So we have a set of parameters that we, we use in order for us to not uh, crush the machine or uh, break the bits. And also, it's, they're important for tool life as well. Fantastic. And so, yeah. So what you're seeing on the screen right now, the circle represents that piece of drum. The plate. So the plate is, is, is what our circle represents. And we are using remnant material where a part was cut and we saved those pieces. And you guys get the benefit from that. And the parts themselves are going to be cut inside the plate material. And the blue that you're seeing, the color blue, that represents how the bit is going to be cutting. Fantastic. All that profiling on the, on, the, on, the, on the inside. Okay, great. So is that ready to go, Mike? All set. All set. So he's all, all right. set. He's going to send it. And away we go. So before the noise starts, so uh, CNC machines, how we work, uh, hold our work. The clamping system is uh, vacuum. Okay, it's a vacuum, vacuum system. system. And so he's going to activate the chamber that he's going to be working on. And then very soon here is going to be noisy. But we're going to start, uh, we're going to turn on the vacuum. Got it. And about how long does it take to run? So we can, we can run an estimate and I can find that out real quick right here. Uh, we go to the program. That's going to take 11 minutes. 11 minutes. 11 minutes Great. to cut. Well, let's see what happens. All right. Thank you. Yep.
put masking on the back of the uh, plate that we're gonna use. Right. Just so all those little parts don't come Just out. Come fall out while you're Yeah, so the right? vacuum, it helps it keep it. Um, and also it helps with the cleanup because you want to cut all the way through. Right. Uh, so there's less cleanup during, I mean, less deburr. Uh, right. We're still gonna need to ease the edges, but it, this helps with less of that. Less of that mess, yes. got it. Yeah, I'm, I'm very familiar with deburring. Yes. It's one of the jobs they let me do when I'm shot. <laughs> so we, we could uh, do a little bit of sanding ahead of time because we want to sand these parts in case they're getting painted. I, I don't know whether you're painting these parts. Probably no? not. Okay. Uh, it's typical for us to do that just because after the bend, some areas might get a little bit harder to get to. Got it. So that's the reason why we do that. Makes perfect sense. Correct. Right. Excellent. So let's get right over here. Well, this is the drawing that I was provided okay. of the band profile of this part. Yep. Yep, that's our CAD drawing. Yes. So we got, we're putting a couple of angles on each of those uh, extensions yes, there. Yes, we are. Uh, so I'll pull all these dimensions and program the machine in there. I'll, uh, so I already have the, the punch and the die set up the right radius okay. of, of the bend that we're going to be making on this part. And in my controller here, I will punch in the angles that we need and the dimensions that go with the angles uh, and basically operate after I've, I've looked at the drawings and do all my corrections and uh, and, and uh, do my bend tests. Got it. For a part like this, I've already done a few bend tests okay. to make sure that we're good. Um, and then I'll, I'll go on ahead and, and bend the whole thing. Okay. So, so you've programmed the machine, you've run a test piece of scrap, and now we're yes. going to do the actual part. We're going to do the actual part and so on and so forth. So, I will look up my paper again. Need to program that. I don't know whether you can be able to see this. We need to put these two bends that are identical. Got it. That way we can, uh, these four bends that are exactly 164. Okay. And 0.05 degrees. Got it. And typically you wanna get those out of the way because the setup is the same. Your angle adjustments right. are going to be the same. And then you can deal with the other odd angles as you go. Um, Very logical. Yeah. So I'll come in here and I'll grab this. So behind here is my backstop. Okay. And I'll program that dimension. I've already put it in, the values. And I'm going to hit run and if you can find the camera, you can see it. The okay. backstop is going to move into position. Got it. Oh, yeah, I see that. Yep. And so, we're going to take our part. And at this point, I'm going to look at the orientation because the part, these holes might not be, right. the part might not be symmetrical. So, you've got to be careful of how you, I'm going to be doing this. So, I have a really good diagram here that shows me all uh, different elevations. Yeah, do some bending. Excellent. Right. Four 
bends. Four bends. It's that quick. So now we're gonna switch over to the two bends. We're gonna apply this bend right here. And then this bend right here, which are two different bends. One is 170 and the other one is 154. Okay, so there'll be a reset here. There'll be a reset. Well, that's it today for us at Creo Industrial Arts. We've had a great time talking to John and Mike in the CNC department and seeing how our plates were manufactured and how they were bent on the brake press. Uh, you may not have heard John say, but if you are interested in this kind of manufacturing career, you can either learn on the job or there are a variety of courses available at local technical colleges. Take care and we'll see you again in the next episode.